Hi, I'm Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear Games. Build of the Week is a video series that showcases interesting character builds created by Path of Exile community members. This week's character is a level 84 Scion in the Standard League that disintegrates entire packs at once using a chaotic chain reaction. The key to this build is the Abyssal Cry skill, which causes affected enemies to explode when slain, dealing a portion of their life as chaos damage to nearby monsters. The damage and area of effect of these explosions are scaled up so much that the death of a single monster will cause a devastating chain reaction. Cyclone is used to set up a reaction and to weaken enemies beforehand. It also grants some survivability during the setup time due to the fortify and life gain on hit support gems. Abyssal Cry has a cooldown that can't be bypassed, so it's important to stay mobile and to lure enemies close together to ensure as much damage overlaps as possible. Because Abyssal Cry scales with monster life, this build inherently does more damage against harder content, but spends more time exposed to danger. Viper Strike benefits from the build's investment into Chaos damage. Its high base damage makes it a natural choice for taking on bosses that manage to survive the initial explosion. The character scales both its attack damage and Abyssal Cry's damage using frenzy charges generated with the Blood Dance unique boots. This item also offers some survivability by granting life regeneration per frenzy charge. The Edge of Madness Unique Sword is also useful for this purpose, providing globally increased chaos damage per level. It also provides globally increased elemental damage, which improves the benefits of the character's auras. Abyssal Cry is linked to blood magic, increased area of effect, and increased duration. Having a large area of effect is important for getting as many enemies caught in the chain reaction as possible, so the Carcass Jack armor is ideal for this build. Sources of chaos damage aren't common in Path of Exile, so this character relies a lot on generic damage modifiers. The Hidden Potential Unique Jewel provides one such modifier, granting 100% increased damage due to this character's 4 magic items. This character has no rare items, so it needs to prioritize life and resistance mods wherever it can. Mastercrafting has been used to ensure this character gets a pair of useful affixes each time. This build's passive skill tree focuses on life, chaos damage, and area of effect radius and damage. It takes advantage of the Scion's central position in the tree to access the Templar, Shadow, and Witch areas. One advantage of taking such a diverse set of passive skills is that this character has access to 8 jewel slots. The rare jewels focus on chaos and area damage, with some including elemental resistances and other useful stats that it can't get elsewhere. This build is powerful when clearing packs of monsters, but its offensive capabilities scale faster than its defenses, so it'll take some work to be able to safely solo the highest levels of maps. The skill combination benefits a lot from party play as allies can also trigger Abyssal Cry, reducing the amount of time you need to spend in harm's way. Obtaining an Edge of Madness sword may be difficult, as it's dropped exclusively in the Beyond League, however it can still be obtained through divination cards or Zana's map device. If you'd like to submit a build for next week's episode, just post a build guide in the class forums on pathofexile.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time.